Fest is now right around the corner. So many events and activities coming up and one of those still relatively new. This year will be the second annual Big Lawns Vinyl Record Expo. Lonnie Salyer and Clint Holly join us this morning with more on this popular event. And gentlemen, it's great to have you both on the show. Thanks for oh, having thank us. You. Yeah, great Started this here. last year and big success, I understand. Yes, uh, we, we had positive uh, feedback last year, great turnout, and we've just about doubled the size of the show this year, so wow. some exciting new things we've added this year. So the show's gonna be Sunday, the 16th of, of July, 10 to four. We've got about 45 tables of, of records, cassettes, probably some eight tracks, probably in there somewhere. All sorts of collectible, yeah, yeah, yeah. All sorts of collectible music stuff. Uh, we've got vendors from, from as far away as Alabama, We've got North Carolina, Nashville, so um, um, got a great uh, group of vendors that'll be joining us. It's going to have a fun time. And you can already see, of course, everybody's doing the flipping, going through, like, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. I mean, yes. and yeah, I that, miss yes. that, and it's yeah. so popular again now. Yes. It is, yeah. yeah. It's one of the things that's happened in the last, I guess, almost 15 years now is yeah. the, the resurgence of, of vinyl records, and it's almost kind of a mystery when you think of how something that went out of date came back all over again, but it's young people too. It's 18 to 25 year olds are buying turntables and they're buying records. And like you said, it's that you want to yeah. put your fingers on it I and you want to flip that. it. Yes, yes, I can't wait to see yeah. what's in the box, right. you know? Yeah. And there's something about the sound, the quality of the sound when you're listening to these records in that right. way. Well, and it's also very uh, interactive too. I think in the digital age, we don't interact with things as much as we used to from a tactile point of view. And, and you, like you said, that, that when you're looking in that box, you see the artwork. And sometimes, uh, have you ever bought a record just because you like the way the, yes. the album cover uh, looks? Absolutely, you know, all the time. Right, yeah. so, so that's part of the fun of the whole, of the whole expo also, is just finding things that you've never seen before. Man, that's cool. And you actually brought one, right? So, you brought yeah, a little... something to, um, to show you guys for the event this year, Mr. Moose Trainwreck Roberts from oh, Bristol. Sweet. He's um, done a limited, there's only 10 copies of this, only available at our show. So this was two live uh, shows he did in Bristol a few years ago. He put them together into an album, so you can only buy this at the show. Uh, 10 copies, so That's come cool. on out, they'll be at my table. Yeah, <laughs> I bet they will be. Look yes, for this guy. I yeah. know. and will you let them go? That's right. the question. The price is right. Yes, yes. Uh. And so, talking about the show, well, you guys both called it the show because you've got lots of entertainers coming in. Yes, you've got the radio show mm -hmm. going to be happening there at the same time. Right. Yeah. So, Radio Bristol is going to do a live remote. Uh, they did that for us last year, and this year we've got some live entertainment throughout the day. Who'll be on the radio show? So. Mr. Corbin Hazlett will be joining us, and Chance Lawson, uh, Sarah Beth Lovell, and Lightning Charlie. Very cool. Lots of great lineup. We love yeah. Lightning Charlie. Always a good time. Oh yeah. And bringing them together for this and to really celebrate where we're at right now with vinyl has to be important. It is, and and one of the other things we're trying to do too to give back is also we're going to have a, a table that is going to be uh, people who are selling that are have records that maybe aren't in good enough condition to sell or whatever. They're going to donate the records, and then we're going to have a table of free records that people can come and take. Uh, but we're also going to ask for a donation to a local uh, pet shelter uh, oh, called nice. PetWorks. Love so Pet uh, I saw this happen in Canada one time. I walked up to a sign that said free records, and, you know, you're always a little skeptical. Uh -huh. And I said, what's the catch? And the guy said, well, you can take what you want, but give what you can. But it's also a way for if you can't afford records or you're a young person and you're just getting into the, the hobby, it's a good way to flip through those records and not have to spend, you know, what's you know, a significant amount of money for a lot of people these oh, days. Yeah. Records yeah. aren't cheap these yeah. days. Find so. something new and interesting you've never, never listened to before. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're mm -hmm. going to give everybody the information. Of course, it is part of Fun Fest. It is coming up. The uh, information is right there on your screen, happening July 16th, beginning at 10 o'clock, all happening there at the Civic Auditorium in Kingsport. For more information, too, you can check out their Facebook page. I saw it. Lots of good information there. Gentlemen, great to have you guys. Thanks, Amy. Thanks for having us. Yeah.